Good morning, party people. It's actually midday, I don't know why I said good morning. Today we're gonna to talk all about abs and how you can make the use of the parallel bars to get a burning ab workout, super simple. So this is uh, five exercises. You can do these either as a circuit or just back to back. Um, you have to excuse all the road noise here, we're just in a park. The reason we're gonna talk about parallettes is because a lot of places do have outdoor bars. Um, there's not really something you need to go to a gym for. You can hit this anywhere. You can get access to bars. You can either do this with like couches you can put, or chairs, side to side, anything you can lift yourself up on. So the very first exercise we're gonna talk about here is knees to chest. This is a super simple exercise, but doesn't make it easy. So the things you wanna focus on on the knees to chest is keeping those shoulders and elbows locked into place, chest upright as much as you can, and we're trying to bring our knees up as high as we can without using momentum to swing forwards and backwards. Now, you can see with this movement, I'm really coming up, trying to control that movement and down to the starting position without actually letting my body swing backwards. That is the key kind of takeaway with almost any of the parallel bar movements is not to let momentum get in the way because then you're gonna start using hip flexors, shoulders, all the other things to actually utilize the movement, not the abdominals. Okay. Moving on from the straight knee up, we're going into a single knee across body. Um, now the benefit of this movement is that it's gonna hit those obliques a little bit more. A noisy bike. <laughs> it's gonna hit those obliques a little bit more. Um, that's that side portion here. Help get that taper down through the waistline. Now, same thing again, we're focusing on bringing our knee as high as we can across our body without swinging too much. Having the second leg hanging there will help you though. So it's gonna allow you to have that almost like a pendulum. It's gonna keep your weight down. Later, really come up, contract up through that side, back down, switch to the other leg. All right, next up we're moving to one of the hardest movements. This one sucks, so you may take some practice. This is an L-sit scissor kick. So what we're doing here is sitting up, raising our legs down in front of us, you're gonna use a little bit more hip flexors than this to hold it in position. Again, you wanna be nice and upright here, and we're gonna be kicking our legs in a scissor fashion. Now this is gonna take a lot of practice to get done right, particularly to breathe through the movement. Um, that's something to work towards. Do as many as you can. I try and go for 30. If you can do 10 to start with, that's a really great start. Something to work towards there. It's gonna really help hold it up. You're gonna be using those transverse abdominals, so this is something that's gonna really get that whole core midsection really well. Now, if you find that L sit scissor kick a little bit too hard, start with a leg raise, a straight leg raise in that position. Very, very similar to what we're doing with our knee tucks. We're not going quite as high with our feet, but because our legs are raised, we've actually got more weight to distribute all the weight up. So it takes out that leverage point a little bit longer, a little bit harder variation than the knee to chest, um, but it's a really great transition towards doing that L sit scissor kick. And the, fast, the last one here, sorry, is kind of a combination of the knee up as well as the straight leg raise. So we're doing a knee to chest, kicking out in front, in position, tucking back in, and then going down. This is all about that time under tension. So your abs are really gonna be burning the whole way through here, holding up that position, kicking out, while keeping up, back in and down. This will take a little bit of practice. Don't worry if you don't um, stay perfectly still. If you get a little bit of a swing through here, that's very natural because your leg is gonna be going in and out. The whole purpose of this one though is in that bottom position, start square, up, forwards, back in, and down again. That's it. As I said, if you guys wanna run through a circuit there, you can do all five exercises back to back. You can give them three sets of each one. As many reps as you can do on these, um, there's no right or wrong rep scheme. It's what's gonna challenge you. Give them a go, comment below, let me know what you think if you try these out. See you guys in the next video.